I'm going to tell you the top five bank accounts, U.S. bank accounts for non-residents. And it also applies for residents and taxpayers of the U.S. as well. And in these accounts, I'm going to tell you what they're best for, how to open them, and just different points and notes uh, that I have experienced working with all these banks and helping clients open these accounts over the last couple of years because the rules change a lot with the banks and it's really important to have the right information going into the application uh, so that you can have your best chance of getting the account approved. So, and the five, the top five banks, which aren't all banks and there's more than five, but the top five banks for the purpose of this list, I'm gonna start here with number one, Mercury, which is not a bank. I got in trouble on the last video for calling it Mercury Bank. Mercury, like number two, is a software platform and it's built on top of a bank. And you've all heard of it. Mercury Bank has been around for a long time. You need a US LLC or US company to open the account. And it has a lot of great tools. It has FDIC insurance. It has remote support. It has high limits on transfers and everything. They have been cracking down a little bit on non-US usage and they have been uh, making it a little more difficult for foreign people and non-US people to keep the accounts open. You need to ensure that when you're applying and when you're answering questions that you emphasize the existence of your US clients. I know many of you are outside of the US but you're selling to Americans and that's what you wanna emphasize in your application so that Mercury will approve your account. Another tip is that when you are filling out the addresses, you can actually now include your local fo uh, foreign address, your home address, your actual address where you live, because this isn't for tax purposes or anything. This is for KYC, know your client purposes. So they want to know you and they want to know they have the right information about you. So you can put your foreign address, even though you have a US LLC and use your mailing address for the company address. And that's where the cards will actually go. So Mercury is a great option. It's been around the longest. You've heard about it before. Number two on my list is going to be Relay Financial. Relay5.com. I have an interview with uh, one of the managers from this bank uh, that's probably going to go up before this video, so I'll link to that at the end. But I like Relay5. It's very similar to Mercury. It has some different features, some better features. You can have multiple accounts. You can have multiple cards. Some of the limits are a little lower, but I find the customer service a little bit better. I've had a good experience working with RelayFi, and when you come from a trusted link or referred source, there's a much higher chance of getting your company opened, your account opened. And just like Mercury, RelayFi, they both have lists of prohibited countries of residents and passports. Uh, they're pretty similar, uh, to be honest. Relays might be a little bit longer, um, but if you're not from those countries, it doesn't really matter. So I really like Relay. Both of these accounts, number one and two, are completely free to have. Relay has some different features such as proving expense reports. You know, they have ways, that, well, that's coming. There's a lot of stuff. Check out, if you're interested in Relay Five, check out that video because I go into much more detail about that bank. But again, they're both free, apply to both. They're gonna want your, uh, your home address, proof of address from where you actually live and that's for KYC, know your client purposes. Number three is not a bank at all. It's wise.com. Wise.com is really great tool. It's a stopgap. You can open it very quickly. You can receive funds really quickly. Uh, you can send it wherever you want. There are limitations. Right now, they are look to be closing debit cards associated with WISE accounts. I've gotten a lot of notices and emails over the last couple of weeks that people who have been relying on just a WISE account are having trouble because there's no way to spend the money if you don't have a debit card associated with it. But it's great because you can receive funds in different currencies. It's very reasonably priced. It's basically free. There's a small fee to set up the accounts. The big issue with it is that they don't have, they really don't have debit cards. And number two is that they're not FDIC insured. So if Wise the platform gets hit with an EMP, then it's your money's gone. It's just disappeared. It's, it's so I wouldn't keep money there. Uh, the first two banks are FDIC insured, which means if the banks fail, the U.S. government will just print money for you to to, to take. So your money is pretty safe. It's guaranteed by the people that print the money. Whereas number three, Wise is not. But it's really quick to open. It's really easy to open. They allow almost anyone to have an account. You know, it's not really, you don't really have to pay for it. So Wise is great, a great number three option. Number four is going to be physical banks in the US. And I'm batching these all together. Citibank, Chase, Bank of America, and Wells Fargo. The top four banks in the US are great. You can travel to the US and open an account. Uh, these are generally better if you're going to be receiving large international wire transfers or using a platform like Hotmart to receive your payments. They don't work with correspondent banks. So the, the wires have to come to a, one of the main four banks. And these banks have their own wire systems where they receive the wires directly. So it's a little easier to get international wires. The Another good thing about the physical banks is that when you have a bank statement, it's a much more reliable proof of address for other types of applications than an online bank statement is. So if you go to a brokerage, if you go to interactive brokers and you want to show proof of address, a Chase bank statement actually kind of works, whereas a Mercury bank statement doesn't really work. They don't really value those bank statements as a proof of address because they're all online. But there's a lot of fees 
everything's expensive. You have to come travel to the U.S. to do it. And if there's an issue, you might have to come back and deal with it. Another negative is that they're not consistently applying the rules. So if you have to go to a Chase bank to open an account, you might have to go to four different banks and only one opens your account. The staff aren't trained at these banks well enough or consistently enough to get the same result across different branches. So uh, if you if you go come, fly to the U.S. just to open bank accounts, plan to go to four different Chase bank accounts. If you're working with me, of course, we can set you up with our bankers who have experience working with our clients and send them all the documents right away. So it's very easy for you to get the account open. What we do is we help our clients save time, do everything faster, do it right the first time and be really efficient with it. But again, the re point of this YouTube channel is to help you guys figure out how to do it yourselves and to give you all the information. So you might have to go to four or five different banks to figure it out. You need passport, you need proof of address, you need a utility bill. You don't need a utility bill. You need proof of address and you need a U.S. phone number. So passport, proof of address, and U.S. phone number. The phone bill could be proof of address, but you need some kind of address in the U.S. So in summary for these banks, the positives are easier for international wires, a little bit more trusted, and you can open personal accounts a little bit easier. You can open personal accounts at RelayFi as well. And at Wise, I guess. You know, it's hit or miss. I always say open accounts at all the banks. If you're going to be in the U.S., open those accounts, put $1,000 in it, and it's basically free if you don't use it. If you just keep the minimum balance, which can be low on the low base level accounts, you don't have to pay any fees. And I would say open it in case you need it. It's all about being prepared for when you need something, okay? It's not about just like not saying you have a Chase account, but if you're a real business owner, you're doing business, and your accounts get closed, you only have one account, your business is stuck and you can't get paid. So I recommend just setting these up and going through it and seeing which ones you like and use that. Number five is a new bank on the account on the, on the list. It's highbeam.co. And this bank is really interesting because they will, they're e-commerce focused and they will open accounts for non-residents. However, you need to connect your Amazon account or your Stripe account. So generally you'll need an LLC, like, like I said, Amazon or a Stripe account or a Shopify account because it's e-commerce focused. I've personally been using it for my service business for the last six months. And I've automated transactions, I've canceled transactions, I've contacted support, I've talked to people in the bank. So uh, they have good service. Again, it's not a bank, it's a software built with a banking partner. They have a pretty good experience and I've had a, a good time using them. I've sent international wires, I've sent domestic wires, I've uh, mostly gotten paid through bank transfer and through Stripe um, into the account, but it's been great. I've had no complaints. I've been using it for six months to pay my whole team and it's been going great. So I would really recommend high, checking out Highbeam because they, they actually have some other benefits. They pay interest on the savings accounts. They do have, they're rolling out credit cards. Mercury Bank has credit cards as well. And there's just, it's worth trying because again, it's free. I've paid them zero money and I've been using their services and their bank software for a while, for like six months now. Like I said, in summary, before I went to the number five option, I know I'm talking a lot and then the order is kind of kind of jumbled, but these accounts are great. We got Mercury, not a bank, Mercury Bank, not a bank. We have Relay Financial, we have Wise. All of those are basically free. The first two are fully free. Relay has some charges if, if you send certain kinds of transactions and they have different packages or whatever, uh, but it's free to open, free to keep money in. Wise might have a small fee to set up an account, $30. The physical banks have a lot of fees and a lot of complications. And again, the benefits are generally that it's a little bit more trusted as proof of address and it's easier to get international wires. Then number five is Highbeam. It's the same really as one and two, except it's a little trickier to open because you need, if you don't have a social security number, you need one of those types of accounts, like an Amazon account or a Shopify account to connect it to to get the 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 account open. So guys, it's really important to be able to bank and be able to have control and access to your money. I'm gonna, I have another video coming with an interview with Relay Financial and I have another video, uh, which is I'm gonna film after this one about a client who got their money stuck in the bank and how, how we're gonna get the money out for them. And it's been, it's been a mess, but we're gonna figure it out. Thank you for being here. If you want help opening these accounts or you want help uh, working with us, get LLCs set up or get uh, tax forms filed, that's what we do. Otherwise, just click these videos. There's another one coming. The RelayFi uh, video up here is going to be great. You're going to really enjoy it.